Okay, so that noise you can hear right now is the first of the water being pumped up from the borehole into the new tank. Nisha, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's time to come Katie, how do you feel? Amazing! We've just done all this work, turned on the tap, and there's water coming out of it. It's amazing. The Swaziland project, I must admit, is the first time I've really felt what head, hand and heart means. Because I was standing there in a field in Africa with a pickaxe, digging, really using my hands in a way that I'd never really done before. And, you know, my heart was in it because I could see the effect that this was going to have on this community. And our heads were in it because we've been planning this for months and we've been doing all sorts of things to fundraise. So I, I really felt like that was the quintessential head, hand, heart experience. What are you actually doing? Well, they said to make it look not like a bomb site, and it was already in order by author, and it looked like a bomb site. So you're organising it by colour? Yes! Cool! <laughs> Whatever you do, like, so we were washing cars or reorganising books or pricing things. You know, you're not doing it for yourself. And so even on the really small scale, it's still there. You know, you're still doing things for other people. And then when you actually think about it further, you just realise to what extent you're actually doing it. So yes, people need to leave here with exam results that are good. Yes, they need to be going to universities that are good or colleges or going to follow careers. But actually the reason people come to Beedales in the first place, if you look back at the origins of the school, the sort of Fabian-linked origins, Mr Badley and so on, is a sense of a connectedness to the world that goes beyond the conventional, the, uh, you know, the academic or the sporting. You know, all those things are great, they're really, really important, but a truly rounded, a truly holistic view of education includes an understanding of the world beyond your immediate needs, beyond the kind of constraints and confines, I suppose, of the conventional. So the fact that we've actually gone out and made a change and helped other people, really, it's, it's kind of priceless to go and actually do things and actually have experiences rather than just sitting around and thinking about it.